Hi y'all and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm even in a different kitchen. My daughter uh, has, one of my daughters, Savannah, has moved into a new house and I am here. And praise the Lord, my water is fixed. They, uh, the guy called me the other night and said he had the lines laid to the new electric meter and it's hooked up and ready to go. So I'm grateful for that. So when I get back home, I'll have water. And uh, of course that was one of the reasons why I left and went to my son's. And then this week I'm going to a football game at my grandson's. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, if you will, will you keep uh, my family in your prayers? Uh, my aunt, her husband, my uncle, of course, passed away the other night. And uh, just keep them in your prayers, if you will. And so we'll go ahead and get started. And I want to say um, thank you to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you wouldn't mind sharing it to your different social media outlets, that would just be wonderful. All right, so we will go ahead and get started tonight um, or this afternoon. I am making some potatoes and I am going to be completely honest with you. I have never made this dish before. I don't have a recipe for this dish. It's just a thought that came into my head that I'm putting together. I heard about uh, Campbell's makes this cream of bacon soup and I couldn't find it at the store by me. So I bought a case of it off Amazon. And so I had this idea to put some potatoes together. What am I going to call them? I don't know. The only thing I could come up with was maybe creamy bacon potatoes. So you are going to join me on this journey to see if they taste good or they don't taste good. Um, so I already have about, I don't know, it's about two, two and a half pounds of potatoes, maybe a little toward three. So somewhere in between there. Uh, it's what my daughter had left in a bag of five pound potatoes. She had russets. Now, if uh, I bought the potatoes, I probably would have bought red potatoes, but it doesn't really matter. But it's just because except for bacon, I mainly prefer russet potatoes. So I have them, I, you know, I sliced them kind, not super thin, but kind of thin. And I have them in some water here. Uh, I'll just kind of show you, you can see that. And so I'm going to drain these. Now I have the oven at 350. I took an eight by eight dish and I have already sprayed it with cooking spray. So I am going to go ahead and turn you down here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, can you see that? Okay. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a can of this uh, cream of bacon soup. And you know, if you don't want to spend the money on this, maybe you could use cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, uh, any kind of, you know, cream soup. I think this was like $19 and something for a case. And it actually, uh, I could, I think I could have bought a case off Walmart, but it would have cost more money. I mean, if you have Amazon Prime, you don't have paid shipping. Oh, that spatula was the smallest one I could find. Do you have a smaller one? Uh -huh. Wait, I have to wash my hands. Okay. She's going to get me a smaller one because you know me, I want to scrape every single bit of that out there. All right, next I'm going to use one envelope of, uh, hold on just a moment. We're still looking for that spatula. I think the spatula is lost and I have to get a spoon. Here it is, I lost it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, just a second. She's going to wash that. All right. So I'm using an envelope of this uh, onion soup mix. And while she's doing that, I am going to go ahead and put some of this uh, sweet Vidalia uh, onion dressing in this can here. Let me shake it up a little bit better. And you can use any brand of that, any kind of Vidalia onion. And you, you know, you can play with this, put whatever flavors you like. That's all what cooking is about, doing the flavors that you like. Thank you, ma'am. Get as much of that out of there as I can. I was in the store earlier today, and remember, always wash your cans that before you use them, because even sitting in your pantry, you wash them right before you use them. All right, I am going to put about a cup of this in here, which that would be about two thirds, three fourths full. I'm going to dump there, and I may put more. I am going to kind of look and see how things look as I go. We have little Joby's crying in the background. Something is definitely not going her way. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to add some garlic powder, just some regular garlic powder, sprinkle some of that in. I am not going to add any salt because I think there's plenty between the dressing and the soup, unless you like things very salty, and uh, both soups, the soup mix and the cream of bacon soup. All right. Now let's just kind of stir this around and I want to see exactly what it looks like and see if I think I need more soup or more oh and I'm almost forgetting the bacon. I think that pepper went up my nose again. Hey, that gets too. Oh. Oh. Uh, that pepper always goes up my nose. Does it go up your nose when you are cooking? I'm just going to crumble this bacon up in here. back y'all in a moment. Sorry about that y'all. I had to end up going taking care of my nose I guess after that sneezing and wash my hands again. All right so now we're back to crumbling the bacon up in there. Are y'all having a good day today? If you're hearing any like knocking in the background they're building a house next door to my daughter. So you hear the bang, bang, bang of the hammers going. We had the windows open, but trying to do a video, at first it was really loud, so we had to close the windows. There you go. Thank you. I will be so glad to uh, get home and my water situation is all taken care of. Uh, it's 
been like a month. They haven't been without water a month, but the problems that were there from where my well is, the old line and it, uh, electric line and everything, it, it's given me a lot of problems. All right, so now I will finish mixing this all together. Now, of course, we know that the potatoes will, you know, uh, cook down as they cook. So I need to keep mixing and mixing and mixing. All right, I think that may be enough. I may add just a little more of the dressing into here. Like say maybe in the beginning, maybe should have done maybe like a full can of dressing. I mean, yeah, a full can of the dressing. Come on out there. We want every bit of you. All right, so let's finish mixing that up. And I think that will get it. Okay, so I'm going to put all of this into a eight by eight, an eight by eight dish that has been sprayed with cooking spray. I am going to say it's probably going to take 45 minutes to an hour to cook, but I am going to start checking it at 30 minutes. And of course, again, at 3.50. I'll check it at 30, then I'll wait 15 minutes and check it again. What are you trying to tell? Oh, he's over there. Playing the keyboard. All right. Scrape all of that out. Oh, that's probably as good as I can do today. I have arthritis in my hands. In the last few days, they have been really acting up on me. Trying to level it all out so it's kind of all evened out. So I am going to stick this in the oven now and I will be back with you when it is finished. And I want to cook it until it's, you know, they are tender. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, y'all, I am back and I am finished with the potatoes. I did take a little bite when I was testing to see if they're done and they do taste really good. Uh, it's almost reminiscent of a German potato salad uh, because of that dressing was sweet. So if you don't want them kind of like a sweet and sour, like a German potato salad, then you would probably want to look for a regular Vidalia onion or a different kind of dressing. Um, but with that sweet Vidalia onion, it is a little bit I like I said, sweet. So I will turn you down, let you see what they look like. Let me move this dish back here some so you can see. I have that fork sticking in there. And the edge has got a little black around. I probably should have put a little bit of foil around the edges. Um, you know, I don't think it's really much the potatoes as much as the juice really there, but it would make cleanup easier, but that's okay. You know, just put some dish soap in it and hot water, let it soak a little bit and then it will come clean. All right, let me turn you back up. So I hope you will give this a try and that um, you can, if you do comment, please, and let me know how they tasted to you. And remember to always season your cooking with love. 
And uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing this, I would appreciate it. And remember, you can always find me here. Um, I sometimes put things in the community. Also on Facebook at Mammy Murray's Musing, same name as the channel, Mammy Murray's Musing at, uh, you know, at Facebook. And you can also, if you need to email me, email me at mammymurray16 at gmail.com. All right, y'all have a wonderful uh, evening and, um, you know, get out and maybe enjoy some sunshine the next several days before the weather starts turning cool. All right, y'all.